Yo, welcome back to the College Cooking Show. On today's episode, my fucking phone is ringing. God damn it. Bang, bang. <laughs> welcome back to the College Cooking Show. Today's episode, actually, we're not cooking at all. It's a little different episode. We're going to do dessert, a snack. If you have kids, they've been out of school for who knows how long at this point. It's a quarantine. Brandon Walker, you have too many fucking kids. You can make this for them. Help them out. Let's get uh, deserting. Here we go. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. Today, we're making frozen banana pops. Very easy to make. You're gonna need a few bananas, some peanut butter, chocolate, shaved almonds, or whole, you can chop them yourself, doesn't matter, and a little bit of honey. So we're gonna take our bananas and peel them. This recipe is actually so easy. The kids, the children can probably even do this one. You don't even need an adult in the room. You're not using an oven, you're not using a stove. You're using fucking bananas. Actually, I take that back. We're gonna use a stove to melt chocolate. Your bananas, cut them in half. Pretty fucking easy so far, right? Skewer into the banana. Like I said, no rocket science on this episode. Shove a fucking skewer. Grab a sheet tray, get some wax paper. If you don't have wax paper, that's fine. Don't use wax paper. Line them up. Peanut butter, or if you're allergic, cashew butter, almond butter, whatever the fuck. I guess if you're allergic to peanuts, you're probably allergic to everything else. If you're an allergy kid, the show isn't for you. I'm sorry. Life without allergies probably sucks. Take your peanut butter onto the banana. This is where it might get a little messy. Fuck. Yeah, I have done this before. This is a great snack because it feels like you're eating a popsicle. We're gonna freeze these overnight and make little banana pops, frozen banana pops, but it's relatively healthy. All it really is is, is uh, peanut butter. Actually, all it is is peanut butter, bananas, which Great fucking combo. Peanut, uh, peanut butter and bananas, put that on a sandwich, a little bit of honey, that's a great lunch. That's what I would grow up eating because my, uh, my dad wasn't around much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bananas, chocolate chips. We gotta melt these. I'll show you the proper way to melt chocolate chips. What you're gonna need is a double boiler. What that is, you get a pot, put it on the, put it on the stove, it should be simmering. You should see steam coming off of it. Then take a glass pot, Put it on top. Now, this is crucial. This should not be touching the water. That defeats the whole fucking purpose of a double boiler. You're using the steam to melt the chocolate. So this goes right on top. Doesn't touch the water, but it gets nice and hot. Then chocolate goes in. Take a rubber spatula and just move it around until it melts. This is how you're not gonna burn chocolate. If you do it right over the stove in like a, a pan, there's a really good chance you're gonna burn it and burnt chocolate sucks. But you'll see right away, the steam just starts to melt that chocolate and it's gonna make a nice, even, glossy, Beautiful chocolate, nice smooth melt. Just stir it around. Should go pretty quick. What if we were at 30 seconds? Look how smooth that is. Okay, chocolate is nice and warm. Take a spoon, and just drizzle it over. If you like a lot of chocolate, put a lot of chocolate on. Another great combo, peanut butter and chocolate. We're doing, we're going with crazy good combos here. Peanut butter, bananas, peanut butter and chocolate. Bang, look at that. We got our chocolate on. Take your shredded almonds, drop them on from a distance. And then finish, just do a little bit of honey. You don't have to go nuts. Maybe one, two swipe, that's it. Perfect, look at those. Those look fucking amazing, you can eat those right now. But if you wait and be patient, and not be a gluttonous fucking idiot, they'll taste even better when they're frozen. They're like a popsicle. It's a, it's a treat, it's a snack. It's for the children, here. Put it in the freezer, uh, like overnight is probably best. I don't know how long it takes for freezing stuff. I'm not much of a freezer. Why is my freezer? Here we go. Put them in the freezer, give it 12 hours, come back, you have a nice popsicle. Nice healthy alternative to a popsicle. We'll check back in tomorrow. This episode is not over. Woo! Good morning, quarantine. I woke up excited to check on my banana pops. We're gonna take them out of the freezer right now. Bang! Everything is frozen on it. That chocolate, that almond, that honey, that peanut butter. Brandon Walker, I'm sure your little fucking rodent, little kids are bothering you at this point. Give him one of these. Hey, say, hey, Junior, go suck on this. Go in the corner. You can't really bite it, you're gonna hurt your teeth. You take it slow, little nibbles, but it's a healthy snack. It's very easy to make. It doesn't take much time. That's a quick one, guys. That's easy. See you next time on the College Cooking Show. I'm Chef Donnie. Peace out.